Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we will be going over the Owl Crate box for September 2022, Magical Monthly Reads. So let's get into it. I've got my sharp thing. So let's go ahead, cut through. And if you remember from last time, they said that this month's theme was Memento Mori. So we've got the little skull and the leaves, and this gives all the spoilers, so I'm not going to look at that too much. So right on top we have a bag. It says Cresswell and Wadsworth, Investigative Services, Belgrave Square, established 1888. That's a really cute little bag. I've got a gym in my office building um, that I'm trying to remember to use, so I'll probably stick some leggings and a t-shirt in this and go to the gym after work. Up next, we have a cute little box. It says, stories are the wildest things of all. So there's that. Ooh! It's a little jewelry box. It's got places for necklaces or bracelets, and then, like, this little bit comes out. But that goes in there, and then it's got a little spot for rings, or pins. Which is really cute. I am planning on doing some traveling. Um, next year, so that'll come in handy if I ever decide to wear jewelry, which I don't do very often, but I might for a trip. And then we have the pin next. Uh, this is Literary Luggage, design 9 of 12. This is the Sarah Moon Festival, which is inspired by An Ember in the Ashes, series 1, by Hey Atlas Creative, which is very cute. Ooh, we have something in a little tin. Alcrate ex exclusive, one flesh, one end, sea salt, musk, amber, cardamom, and citrus. It's a candle. So here's the little tap, and then it's just a little candle. Oh, it smells so good. It's kind of, well, I told you what it's supposed to smell of, but it smells very earthy and like, it evokes the feeling of, of hiking in the fall. Like, it's very nice. So, then we have... I don't know. Something in a box. It says owl crate. Batteries included. So whatever it is, it does something. There's a bit of styrofoam. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. It's a little lantern, and it says things. It's got mirrored sides that you can just kind of see through. And it says, these dreams will be the death of me. And then there's that. Uh, some people are repelled by darkness, others are drawn to it. And it's got a little manor and a little garden. It lights up and there's a little flameless candle in there. Which is super cute. I really like that. So, that is really cute. Then we have something that's kind of heavy in a little stars and moon bag. This is... Oh, this is one of those bag hooks! Is it magnetic? I don't know. It says Memento Mori on it. I don't know if you can see that. But it says Memento Mori, and then it will hang. Let's see if it's magnetic. No, it's just, it's just rubberized. But basically, you hang this on the edge of a table or a, a desk or something, and then you can hold your bag here, and it like holds it, holds it up off the floor, which is really cute. And it, I like that. Memento mori, remember death, or remember that you will die, depending on how Latin-y you want to be. And then for the book down here at the bottom, we have the depths. Exclusive Alcrate signed edition. And it says, Dear Alcrate reader, I've always been a big fan of gothic novels and movies, sinister stories of crumbling mansions, wandering ghosts, and tormented heroines. When I first thought of writing The Depths, I decided to take all of my favorite elements from these stories, but change the setting from a haunted house to an island. Uali Island is beautiful as it is treacherous, with sandy beaches, crystalline water, and flower-filled forests, but lurking underneath it all is a dark, beating heart. And when the island falls in love with someone, it never lets go. I hope you enjoy this book, reading this book as much as I did writing it. All the best, Nicole. 
So, and I, I do love these letters because you get to see, well, theoretically you get to see a little bit of the author's handwriting, which I always think of as like their signature, their accent. So it's kind of like seeing how they would talk in real life. So that's cool. That looks like a, the kind of book I would want to read for October. Um, for October, I'm doing 13 spooky books. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. This will probably be one of them. And then we've got the little magazine with the... I do love skulls. Like, I might... I might take this card and, like, frame it. Because I love skulls. Like, it's really cute. So in the magazine, we have an interview with the author. And then there's the two covers. There's the one that we got. And then there's the regular cover. Which, again, I always like the Owl Crate covers better. I just think they look prettier. Um, like the depths, it gives also Gallant, uh, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, and Splintered. Okay. And then we have an interview with the vendor for Cresswell and Wadsworth. Um, going over, like, her inspiration for making it. And, oh, oh, other books we're excited about the release of. Self-Made Boys, a Great Gatsby remix. Monsters Born and Made with Fire in Their Blood, which I've seen at the bookstore. I almost bought it, but money. Books are expensive. And uh, Wishtress and Foul Lady Fortune. Which, try not to get the glare on them, is kind of cool. And then let's look at the spoiler card for next month. So next month is A Study in Shadows. And looks like... So it looks like we have a choice between Pride and Prejudice or Frankenstein, which I love both of those, but kind of a spooky remix kind of illustration, which I like that they're giving classic novels a chance. Like, that's nice. Um, I do love a classic novel. I've uh, read and reviewed both Frankenstein and uh, Pride and Prejudice. Well, I haven't reviewed Pride and Prejudice, but I've read it many times. Um, so if you want me to review Pride and Prejudice, let me know down below. I'd be happy to do that. But do you get Owl Crate? Did you end up with a different pin or with different items in your box? Let me know. Um, I hope you enjoy watching these unboxings as much as I do doing them. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!